Hello Leo, thank you so much for coming to my channel. I appreciate all the likes, subscribes, views, comments, each and every one of you. Thank you, thank you. So if you're new to my channel, the oracle cards go here which are all for you. The tarot cards over here which are the people around you. But you could show up over here. So I read the cards, you decide how they apply to you and your situation. So feel free to vice versa, the masculine and feminine, so like the king and queen on the card. And when I pull a card over here, your best instinct on who you feel like that card applies to is probably your best choice. So let's get started. So the first one is 23 Distinctive Potential. So rely on your faith and the knowledge that nothing is impossible. Use your determination to hang in there until you realize a goal. This is the narwhal whale. This is their left tooth that looks like a unicorn, but it's actually their tooth. It's a spiral tooth. So scientists have been studying them lately to see why that is, because mainly the males grow this tooth later in life when they're mature, but some females grow it too, it said. So something about you is very unique, unlike other people. And there's people like you out there, so you're not like the only one. But there is something about you that is different. So it says, rely on your faith to know that you're different for a reason. So like the universe made you different because they knew you could handle it. So disengage from outcomes 48. So let go so you can be open to the highest love that you deserve. Find ways to release worry or unresolved lack of forgiveness you might be holding on to. This is the Orca Whale. So 48 means to me, like when you go in the grocery store and somebody gives you a dirty look and kind of rams your cart, you're just like, oh my gosh. So that's how you can attract negative energy like a magnet, not attract it, where people just try to put it on you. And if people do this a couple times a day and you never release it, then it's all stuck to you, you know what I mean? You're carrying it around. So to me it also means like disengage from that if somebody does that. Don't go get in your car and carry that anger with you home and then take it out on the animal or the kids or your husband or your boyfriend or girlfriend. So it talks about disengage from other people's anger and issues they try to put on you. Do you understand? So don't take... Don't let other people put their emotions on you. You're bigger than that. You're stronger than that. Alright, so now I'm going to switch to the Chakra Wisdom deck. So if you add 23, it would be 5, which is change. So there's a very distinct change, I feel, that's going to bring potential to you. All right, so let's see the Chakra Wisdom deck. You have Eight of Coins. Very good. So you're focusing on work, stability in coins, judgment. So the universe is calling judgment, or you are, on three people in your life who maybe messed with your coins or at a workplace. Seven of Coins. Wow. So this is somebody organizing, planning, taking inventory of how much they have in the bank, how much they have, um assets and then Leo strength so this could be Leo placement so a lot of strength here obviously that you Leo uh, look at that all coins and strength and judgment ouch for whoever's getting judged so now let's go with temperance so temperance to me is second time around this is a connection that didn't work out the first time because the timing wasn't right so it could be from a past life or it could be second time around in this life or it could be somebody you knew in a past life coming around in this life. So again, um, something to do with your coins too. So maybe a job you had before is getting ready to offer you back it again. And then the star. The star is putting your energy into yourself. So I feel like there were three people who tried to take your light away, tried to make you doubt yourself, tried to make you not vibrate in such a loving vibration and the universe will hold those people accountable. Lovers. Lovers is Gemini placement. So you're taking inventory because you um, have somebody you're interested in is what it says. So two of coins. So two of coins talks about being compromising and flexible. This also tells me that you probably have a couple people, Leo, that you're interested in and you're trying to decide which one would be better suited for you and two of swords, some sort of denial, there's some denial situation so we have the coins, 
the temperance, something coming around again in denial. So King of Wands. So King of Wands is somebody who's very handsome, very physically beautiful. This is somebody who um, does has a lot of skills. I'm trying to figure out what I'm picking up in there. And the Magician. So the Magician clarifying the lover situation could signify, I'm getting kind of a player energy, like somebody may be trying to um, not commit, but they're acting like they want to commit. And then Princess of Swords is somebody spying. So you got somebody spying on you, watching what's going on. I don't know who that is. And then the Wheel of Fortune, a lot of major arcana in this reading. So the Wheel of Fortune definitely tells me something's going to shift. Something is going to change. People are going to see something change really fast. Just like, wow. I mean, they're, I just can't even believe it is what I feel. Something's really going to change. So I'm switching over to the Mystical Cats Tarot Deck Leo. So I see a lot of wands and there are a lot of opportunities and somebody around you is going to be a naysayer. I'm being drawn to the Princess of Swords and then this right here, that somebody is not going to think that you should take the opportunities coming to you, that everybody gets the opportunities, not just you, or something of that sort. So the next one is Sky Tom. Yeah, I do feel like there's somebody purposely trying to hurt you that doesn't, and then Cat Magic. So we have the Cat Magic there. So I feel like the universe is taking care of you. You're grounded. You're very spiritually protected. You're very um, strong in your self, security, and then eight of earth. So eight of earth to me is birds of a feather flock together. This is people who have a common denominator, usually something in the negative um, behavior pattern where they draw together because they, I feel like there's like a ringleader, if you will, and people just hang out with this person because they can get access to, I don't know, something to party with. And then they feed them on negative um, energy. So seven of sky. So somebody's taking when somebody's not looking. And it has something to do with this spying situation here. And then the wheel. Wow. So the wheel is changing. You have the wheel of fortune here. Somebody being sneaky in the wheel of fortune. So your life is changing. A cycle is changing. And somebody's trying to stop it. Somebody doesn't want your life to change. They don't want things to be peaceful for you, see kitten. So somebody who's ungrounded, in and out, very immature is around you. And then air, uh, Ace of C. So Ace of C is clarifying, this is love, clarifying the people who flock together, the bad behavior. So somebody, it's probably, how do I say this? So if you have somebody new coming into your life, it could be this person's ex not wanting you two to be together, so they're going to interfere and cause problems. So then you have Fire Tom. So Fire Tom is somebody who takes chances. They've gotten burned many, many times, and they don't really um, care who they hurt. They don't even care if they hurt themselves, so why would they care if they hurt somebody else? So there's consequences for that kind of behavior. There's consequences for interfering with somebody's true love, somebody's livelihood, and people just don't understand that. And it usually boomerangs back on themselves. We try and put that out there. So yeah, a tower. Oh, Leo. So I do feel like somebody who's trying to put bad energy towards you and they are getting bad energy to themselves now. Consequences. Two of sky. So I do feel like this person has been doing this for years, I feel, and it's never worked out the way it did this time. So something about you being involved this time made it different that it was more jarring to this person than all the other times. So then you have Earth Tom. So Earth Tom is the universe sending something in to help you to help you go a new way and get away from the people who are trying to interfere in your future. Just selfish, mischievous people with pride and ego who are too busy getting into your business instead of getting into their own business. So I'm going to switch to the Oracle of E. It's so weird when people put energy into other people. 
Because if you put the energy into yourself that you put into other people, you'd just be like, wow, that's so easy. I can't believe how it worked. So live in large, 25. So Leo, you're moving ahead into something new that you're healing from. You're going to be a little more aggressive energy, but it's going to be happy. You're going to be happy. A little more luxurious lifestyle than what you're used to now. And 15 GPS. So you have two upright triangles, which is healing, a little more aggressive anger, uh, energy. I do see the gl global positioning satellite system, so you're where you're supposed to be for things to happen the way they're supposed to. So know this. So whatever's happening, you could be teaching somebody else a lesson I'm hearing, and you're kind of the catalyst for it which isn't always fun. So then you have Divine Love 31. So this kind of convinces me that you are like the catalyst and they're telling you you're, you're protected. You're always protected. You have Divine Love. They want you to love yourself as much as the universe loves you. They love you so much and they want you to know that you're always protected. It'll always come out in your favor. And then Understanding too. So this talks about Life has twists and turns, different paths, but you're going to come out in your garden of happiness. You're going to come out in your bright light. You're going to notice your positives override the negatives in you. It might take you longer to get there. Everybody has their own path. But you're kind of, I think, understanding you are protected and enjoy the journey. Don't worry so much about everybody else knocking you down on what you do that they don't do and blah, blah, blah. So then you have Direction Guardian, Choose Your Path. So this is talking about going whatever path you want. I see the Mariner symbol on there. I see like a compass. I do see wings. This reminds me of Ezekiel, the prophet who saw an angel with four faces. I do feel like very strong um, directions are going to be presented to you. Very strong. And then the next one is Medicine Mother, Honor Your Inner Knowing. So this has eight infinity in there. and It has the sunflower petals around her crown chakra up there. So I do feel like you're open to receiving messages and guidance from um, the maternal instinct within you. Fraternal, I guess, if you are a male. But I do feel like a lot is happening where your life is changing and anybody trying to interfere in what's happening in your life and the change is supposed to take place is going to have consequences. Um, so I hope this helps you. You're going to have a beautiful future. Bless you.